I mean, how complicated can it be, right? Get in the shower, I wash it, I'm done. Well now, you should know that we're far too complicated of a species for such a fundamental task to be deemed as simple. Now there's way more to it, and in fact, there's a better way. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Kicking it off with some shower information, and this is not a full shower routine, but rather the stuff that pertains to hair. First of all, I still to this very day get asked, how often should I wash my hair? Or is it bad to wash my hair every day? The basic answer is you do not need to be washing your hair every single day. In fact, there's a whole debate going on right now as to whether you even need to be washing your body every day. A lot of signs actually pointing to the fact that you might not need to wash your body every day, but I'm not so sure. Uh, kind of curious to know what you think about. Maybe that's a good video topic for the future. So if that sounds interesting, something we should dive into, let me know down below. For hair though, overwashing is one of the biggest causes for dull, dry hair and a flaky scalp. But then there's the follow-up question, but Joe, I use hair products every day. Don't I need to wash out my hair products on a daily basis? What about that buildup? What about that? My pores getting clogged. Again, for the average guy, the answer is no, you do not need to be washing out your hair product every single day with shampoo. In fact, often you'll be doing more damage by overwashing your hair with shampoo than just letting your hair products stay in your hair for a day, maybe two days and allowing for a little bit of buildup. As long as you use shampoo every few days to reset the scalp, get the product clear, you're gonna be a-okay. But now when you do wash your hair, here's the other thing. It can be very tempting to go in with two rounds of shampoo because that first round it often you know might not feel as lathery or like it's cleaning as well as when you do a second round that second round you can really see the lather or the buildup that shampoo's all over the place it just looks more clean well guess what that second wash is almost always unnecessary. Try it out for yourself. So if you're this kind of guy, next time, just go in with one wash instead of two. And I bet by the time that you step out and dry down your hair, uh, your hair will feel just as clean without that second wash. Now, one of my favorite new shower tools that I've been using different versions of, testing different ones out for the past eight or nine months now, is one of these guys, a shampoo brush. This is one of those tools that I've always been a little bit skeptical of before I've tried it, but since I've tried it, I use it every single time I wash my hair. Now, we've been working on our own Bloom On Shampoo and Conditioner for what feels like an absolute century now. And uh, yes, by the way, we're making good progress. But along with that, we've also been working on our own version of a shampoo brush, which this that you're seeing here is very close to the final sample. Uh, you know, the form factor of all these shampoo brushes are roughly the same, but it's just the feel and the way it works in your hair. That's what we've been tweaking. So more details on this in due time, but a good shampoo brush does a great job of really working the shampoo into your hair. It just feels really great, like a personal massage. And most importantly, Importantly though, it gently exfoliates your scalps and it, it can make a really big difference on flakes. And I'm talking from personal experience. It gets the shampoo really well distributed, lathers it up and uh, does a great job at cleaning, but it also really gently exfoliates the scalp. Big difference, talking from experience. Now, when it comes to conditioner, it's really simple. Use conditioner every time that you shampoo. If you shampoo twice a week, use conditioner twice a week. If you shampoo three times a week, use conditioner three times a week, so on and so forth, think that you get it. So when I shower, I start with shampoo. It's the very first thing that I do. Scrub that up with the Bloom On Shampoo brush, which uh, you can't get your hands on yet, but you will be able to in the future and then rinse it out. By shampooing first as the first thing you do in the shower, you're leaving a good amount of time to be able to use conditioner and let that conditioner set in your hair and really lock in some moisture, add some hydration back. It's always best to let a conditioner stay in your hair for as long as possible. So after shampoo and rinsing out, the very next thing I do is throw in conditioner. This means that I'm usually left with about seven to 10 minutes or so to do my other bits and pieces. I also shave my face in the shower. I have a shower mirror, uh, absolutely fantastic recommendation for you guys who don't shave in the shower yet so much nicer than having to clean up in the sink but yeah I shave in the shower wash the rest of my body and this whole time I've got the conditioner in my hair after all that everything else is clean uh, conditioner is the last thing that I rinse out before I wrap things up and step out of the shower so a nice step by step that I would encourage you guys to try out is step one wash with shampoo and rinse it out first thing you do step two follow up with conditioner and allow that conditioner to stay in your hair for as long as possible which means the remainder of your shower step three do whatever else it is you need to do to to get yourself cleaned up. That conditioner is staying in the hair. And step four, as the very last thing before you get out of the shower, rinse out that conditioner. That's a perfect shower routine when it comes to your hair. Now, great, we've got all that figured out, but what shampoos and conditioners should we be using when we're washing and conditioning our hair? Well, obviously, hours when you can. Uh, but until then, let's break down 
a few myths. The biggest myths that pertain to shampoo and conditioner surround sulfates and parabens. I'm sure you guys have heard this before, sulfates and parabens, oh no, keep away, right? Over the past few years, we've seen a huge push in the beauty industry to label as many products sulfate and paraben free as possible. I mean, geez, even we do it as a, as a hair product company. But really, the whole reason is because of how much consumers fear these buzzwords, sulfates and parabens, which is kind of funny because it really is the beauty industry who instilled this fear in the first place. Place. Now it's true, if you do a quick Google search saying, are parabens bad for your hair? You're gonna get a slew of articles making it sound like death itself. Everything from cancer causing to reproductive issues to bad for your hair and dull and makes your everything lifeless, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but the thing is, it's almost all misinformation. Now I could get into this further, but then this whole video will become really sciencey. So if you guys want to hear a real proper breakdown of sulfates and parabens, let me know because we can make that video happen. But for now, just know that you have much less to worry about than you probably are worrying about right now when it comes to all of your options, especially pertaining to sulfates and parabens. By all means, pick sulfate free, pick paraben free. There's a ton of products out there. Ours are gonna be the same sulfate and paraben free when they come out. But the most important factor for me when it comes to picking a shampoo and conditioner is picking something that is built to provide moisture and really target the moisture and add that hydration back into your hair. And really there's a good amount of options out there to choose from. You can just type in moisture shampoo, moisture conditioner, including our stuff when it becomes available. So a little bit of a sneak peek there and uh, keep you posted. But for now, hope that you found this helpful, full on shower routine when it comes to your hair, how to take the best care of it when you are washing it, when you're supposed to, how long they've blah, 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 all that good stuff. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. If you're new, click that subscribe button. If you're new or old, click that like button and I'll see everybody next time.